What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out all the new stuff coming with Naraka season 12. It is April 10th, 2024 and we're moving into the next season with you. We've got the brand new glyph plan which is really cool. We saw this um like shown a little bit in the like upcoming season 12 dev notes and everything like that. So it's super exciting that uh, this is going to be coming out. I'm excited. I would love I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a luck glyph runner and I would love for more reason to run luck. It'd be more rewarding and stuff. Uh, so we have the brand new glyph plan. Uh, glyph board now is called glyph plans. Um, it has been overhauled. They use a system similar to potential plans over in showdown. If you guys recognize those and all taste spent on unlocking and upgrading glyphs will be returned. So you guys will have all of that back to spend for unlocking the new ones. Unlocked hero glyph board will be converted into hero exclusive glyph plans. Glyphs will be unlocked when the account level reaches level four and a glyph point will be awarded for every two levels advanced. These points can then be allocated in the glyph plan to activate various glyphs needing to spend tight. So we'll be checking that out after the servers go live. We have the new battle pass for season 12, Tenacity. Uh, it's featuring a ton of fun stuff and we've got some big bonk swords coming out and it's gonna be spicy so uh there's gonna be changes to stamina Ooh, increase maximum stamina by 18.16 percent with equals to the maximum stamina provided by the glyph omni mind reduce stamina cost for dodge and short handle weapons like quick dash and increase stamina this is actually really nice because what really sucks is having to allocate for stamina and everything like this and we talked about this even like grapple distance and everything like these kind of things it's like kind of a pain it would be nice if everyone had like the same amount of stamina or whatever so i think there's an interesting change the developer note for this is well all stamina related glyphs are activated in the new glyph plan the stamina cost and stamina recovery speed for dodge and short handle weapons will be on par with equipping omni mine six and lunar agility six before this update so uh i will have to check that out uh does that mean they remove those glyphs entirely like you don't have to unlock them um let me know in the comments what you guys think um all right we have the new mod oh they called it hot potato i love that i love it i love it so much <laughs> use the various techniques to bounce the hot potato um, and defeat the opponents player nine for solos and six for trios ah! Uh, rounds. The game has multiple rounds. Each round begins with a Naraka hot potato spawning in the center, which starts by tracking a random player and then gain speed as it's it is struck by players. Um, being hit by the hot potato uh, reduces health. In solo mode, players have one health point per round and trios each get two. Win by defeating all the opponent events, or opponents by hitting them with the the hot potato <laughs> um and then smacking it away from you and not getting hit by it the red hot potato is coming right for you blue hot potatoes are friendly and you don't have to dodge them and a hot potato will deal damage to everyone in its path even a white hot potato isn't safe <sighs> use different moves to rebound the hot potato faster that's so fun i'm really excited intercept hot potatoes struck by enemies can be struck again to change the trajectory catch trios only when a teammate hits a blue hot potato and is nearby you can use a charge strike to have it circle your body then quickly toss the hot potato Ooh, there's so many little things i love how complicated it is oh my gosh vertical strike to pass it for trios uh different moves will let you manipulate the speed of it common attack focus attack and counter Skills and soul jades are gonna be involved in that. Dude, I love that they made it so so complex. And then speed boost from uh, same move can um, stack, but hitting the hot potato with a different move will reset it. Ooh, exquisite vessel. There's a chance that soul jades and items will spawn in the exquisite uh, vessel armor, hot potato rampage, and counter type glyph lunar agile. Ooh! 
there's even like a specific glyph for it. This is gonna, this, ah, ah, ah. That's so exciting. Okay, for the Perry, Fairland Penglite update, instrument proficiency updates and proficiency system for the Urhu, the Urhu uh, flute, drum, gong, and woodblock instrument is now available. Added performance effects as new rewards as players level up their proficiency. Uh, kite updates, a certain emote gesture can be performed on the kite. Oh, that's so fun. I really like the kites. They're really cute. Okay, limited time event. Uh, currents clash. Um, lakes and sea are so vast and wide with mist and clouds that both abide. Each day, players can choose one of the two cultivations. Uh, Fortuna's gift. If you gain score in the ranks, you'll get the 25%. If you lose it, um, and uh, yeah, no Eureka is used when the score is zero. So uh, similar to other uh, events we've had in the past where you choose like, you know, does it help you if you lose or win or etc. Um, Thunder Cove's Mercy gain 150% XP and treasure XP for the next match of the survival. Casual mode or showdown diminishing Eureka by one. Players can choose only one cultivation bonus per day and the choice cannot be changed. Completing each event grants uh, Eureka their seven quest set which unlocks sequentially over time and then yo we can we can grind them battle pass wink wink um, and they expire daily so make sure you use them up and the event grants extra rewards based on the total number of quests completed um, then we have the limited time event festival of water till, so starting today until April 21st um, you players earn serene drops by completing event quests. Serene drops can be redeemed for rewards throughout the event. The ranged weapon swarm um, gains a limited time special event shooting water bombs, which we saw in the dev notes and stuff. And it looks so exciting. I can't wait to check it out. And that it actually drops on the map now out of Trove. So that's going to be super exciting. Um, I can't wait to check that out. And limited time event for PlayStation. They're having tournament uh, level four. Um, you can see the placements and the schedules here. Definitely, if you're a PlayStation player, go check that out and have fun. Um, here are your time zones and stuff. And uh, PlayStation Challenge, uh, the win in this race. Compete against players worldwide and ascend the rankings by achieving a place among top 100 fastest in the hot Sky High Racing. So there is also a competition for that on PlayStation. So that's really exciting. Um, and then new Tenacity Season. You guys can purchase the Battle Pass and uh and check that out and that goes until purchase uh is till july 4th is the duration of the season and then the discount till may 9th um so get it before it's gone and then okay tenacity season pack exclusive epic head accessory for sheol um whisker watcher and advanced hidden treasure uh card used to unlock uh what is yeah all the stuff you can get all the things yeah and then the buys blessing where you can get there's just lots lots of things the same kind of thing with the battle pass and all of that uh we have hero adjustment um we've got for echo slice re reduced the startup frames of war blast adjusted the damage multiplier for the first second third stage of pounce adjusted the damage multiplier for the three lunges of feral frenzy um and to it looks like they're up instead of down and adjusted the performance of feral frenzy grab and increased the vertical range of lunges the pri priority of knockback effects has been adjusted um yes so there's some uh more specifics also that with this update we're seeing where some um characters are now going from like having three alts or f's to two so that's what we're going to be seeing here uh viper i believe uh viper ning increase the damage reduction of ultimate variance moonbane from 50 to 70 percent so quite a boost and increases the sustained damage reduction of all ultimate variants uh moonbane control unchained from 40 to 50 percent for kurumi kurum room increase the damage reduction of all ultimate variants of purified circle from 50 to 70 percent and reduce recovery frames reduce the startup frames of the ultimate purified circle rapid airborne strike and the strike can be interrupted by dodging um for tarka 
adjusted the timing of skill using um, usage for Flame Force Fireball uh, to the moment of shooting the fireball. Increase the damage reduction for all ultimate variants of Fire Frenzy for, from 50 to 70 percent. So there's a lot of uh, he's getting a little buff. Tarka will no longer be interrupted by Valda's Rising Tide in ultimate status. So there's something for you right there for all you Tarka lovers. I know you guys love Tarka. Um, for Zai, reduce the recovery frames when unleashing ultimate under all chain scythe ultimate variants and optimize the attack direction detection for horizontal and vertical strikes of Zai's ultimate. Oh man, I already hate Zai enough. She's getting more, more buff. Not a huge one though, but still I'm like, ah! Um, and then for Shayol, we have slightly reduced the recovery frames when unleashing ultimate under all Justicar's guard ultimate variants. Increase the cooldown of shield bash rush from 16 to 19 seconds and reduce the extra cooldown time added after a successful hit or in the end of the rush from 8 to 5 seconds. Developers note, so why they did this, where increased the initial cooldown time for the skill that failed to hit while keeping the overall cooldown time after a successful hit at the same as it was. This will make dodging an enemy shale more rewarding that makes sense that's nice that's nice weapon adjustment we have the nunchucks and katana here for nunchucks after a successful block players can interrupt the enemy by jumping or dodging and the window for unleashing a counter strike has been extended ooh, 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 ooh. as if chucks are not already devastating enough <laughs> optimize the attack speed and melee uh correction for a scale rush and slightly increase the stagger time of a hit enemy so chucks are going to be your go-to katana optimize the effect of soul slash and thunderstorm upon attacking enemies stabilizing the combo connection of multiple strikes um, combat adjustments we've got a lot so we're gonna just zoom through these and if you want to know the nerd things you can read them yourself at the patch notes you can see them if you're watching the youtube video down below adjusted the stagger time caused by airborne attacks so that it matches the corresponding network delay so this is a huge one that everyone is really excited for and it will be something that we get to see uh in game um increase the maximum value of all types of armor by 20 percent which is a big change so everybody's a little chunkier uh, actually, I'm gonna say these 500 to 600. We so this is like white armor, 500, blue, 750 to 900, uh, purple, 1000 to 1200, gold, 1250 to 1500, and extreme, which is red, 1500 to 1800. Holy crap, holy, that is a big difference. It increased the recovery amount of armor powder by 20 for probably to match that um and everything as well increase the recovery amount of armor powder by 20 percent when equipped with advanced heal and group heal soul jades and then armor display adjustment increase the armor value of each bar segment from 250 to 300 so the um your your mats will match the the buff you won't notice it um yeah <laughs> Immortal War adjustments increase the amount of rewarded Dark Tide coins for defeating enemies. Um, we have added the Rift Dealer, a new tab for items that unlock over time, and some limited time items added. For instance, the Universal Key transform into the key for the nearest cave after you purchase it. Replace the Morris Blessing that refreshes each round outside of the Realm of Yang with Spirit Well, and introduce a shield that only blocks incoming bullets coming from outside. Um, the same reward offering for Morris blessings are now generated at the spirit well upon capture if the power of four beasts is among the reward it will be directly granted to the capturing team added new morris blessing to be unlocked in the cave which includes epic armor epic weapons epic soul jades uh random rare weapons or healing uh healing berries two armor powder two and grappling hooks so all of these loot that are you can't find on the map but they will be in caves so um it'll be more lucrative to go there higher quality equipment players can obtain um from blue stash has been changed from epic to rare um so you can only get rare stuff from a blue stash the the golden toad which carries cave key will no longer spawn so you have to go buy them um and reduce the dark tide coins spawned in the map so you're more rewarded for killing more than for looting and exploring um feature optimization adjusted the duration of soul bloom essence dropped and remains in the survival modes to 120 seconds after which the item will disappear wait that means that they don't live forever the soul bloom yes that is sneaky so you can't you can't go into the realm of yang you can't go into the realm of yang 
and then like leave one outside and then if you die come back and eat it yeah yeah no, no more sneaky no more sneakies 120 seconds is not long like if you guard someone's body like uh, like two minutes it's long but not that long that's a big change I uh, changed the color of icons for scout effect on the map to red and the brightness of the game has been adjusted appropriately to highlight the key information more pro mm. um that can layer for rift dealers when removed below the shadow corruption layer okay other adjustments removed in game soul land crossover content so soul land is gone um out of game chat added notifications when receiving unread private messages the notifications you can enable and disable in that section rotation adjusted the rotation cycle to every two hours uh adjusted the scoring rules of capture the spirit well so maybe that'll be a little bit more balanced because sometimes when you get like behind there's like no saving you and it kind of feels unfair so maybe that would be interesting uh, uh showdown adjustments which we are gonna like scrub through pretty quickly because honestly these are really if you don't know showdown that well it's really hard there's like a lot of like specific things you know so free training mode for showdown is now available so that's interesting that there's training mode for that uh Players can head to the off island of Morris Isle for unrestricted trial of all soul jades to explore. Ooh, so you can try the soul. That's nice because there's a ton of unique only to showdown stuff. So that's definitely really good. Um, and understand the effects you can practice with all heroes, mastering their skills, martial skills, and diffuse. Interesting. Combat adjustments. All of the armor that we saw in the main game um, got added to showdown. Um with the bars and everything added a prompt and an uh, attack increase icon for triggering um diffuse i guess break optimize burning modified the effect of blue variant potentials reduce damage multiplier for water ends uh reduce the stagger time for water ends reduce the damage multiplier for fiery monsters optimize the collision of ominous Ariat and Iron Taifeng moderately reduce the attack of health of Omnis Umbra Scorch and optimize the recommended logic for the Awakening Soul Jade and added a new label Burn and Hydro Flare to Anima Rings. For hero adjustments in Showdown, we have increased damage reduction for Viper, re increased damage reduction for Karumi, Tarka, um, uh, uh, skills and ults, uh, Viper ult, Krumi ult, Tarka skill, Tarka ult, Wu Chen martial skill. There you go. You can read them if you want to see the nerd stats. Enigma domain adjustment. Optimize the physical collision of the giant plant tentacle in the Eventide temple um, in the Enigma domain. Yama's abyss adjustments. Added omens indicators next to the mini map to make it easier to view the specific effects of each omen besides stage omens are now displaying um, um, during hero selection and then stage omens will also uh, appear in preparation stage and at rift dealer stages uh feature adjustments global max drop level has uh been increased soul jade locking is now enabled on the settlement page added the category tabs for soul jade inventory optimized inventory of sorting uh rules for the soul jades players can now check the challenge quest for the current doom level and then on the preparation page heroes weapon information has been changed to small icons showdown Whew. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the Yoto outfit. Uh, fun fact, I am obsessed with uh, this pattern. Like the blue porcelain, like China pattern that is always like beautiful painted like blue and white porcelain like i literally am obsessed with everything that has this aesthetic i've always loved this kind of thing and i'm very excited for it <laughs> so we've got the new discounts uh we have the hang sword coming out we got epic kill announcement we got gestures we got yoto we got poses it's gonna be great there's new items in the taste store like a lot of them we got a uh, crossbow staff we have accessories we have uh, lots of accessories and backgrounds and all the things just spend that tay on baby let's go feature adjustment in-game adjustment optimize many of the settings that fall under 
filter on graphic page, fixing an issue where blue focus visual effects would not change accordingly. We noticed that many players would activate the tender filter because of how strong the lighting became when active. Not turning on tender would make the visual effects of focus is more visible, but then would also cause the visual effect to get crowded out, interfering with lines of sight. We have therefore modified the brightness of focus visual effects uh, for each filter um, type, and this will like hopefully help all of that overall and optimize the free camera feature and free camera state um attacks will reorient the camera towards the crosshair um bugs there's a lot of bug fixes oh my goodness gracious okay hero related bugs fixed an issue where players would still be inflicted with debuffs such as burning and cripple even after sufficiently using diffuse and neutralize enemies um and fixed an abnormal burning damage issue with zai and her flame ward and um chain scythe interesting okay battle related bugs fixing an issue with a great sword counter training and free training mode where the ai opponent unleashed a limited variety of movements showdown related bugs my god <laughs> Fix an issue where players would still be inflicted with a debuff such as burning and cripple. Fix an issue where a certain hero is attacked, uh, mistakenly emptied the, the diffuse slot when equipped with soul jade, um, ice flow, and raging flame. Uh, fix incorrect description of sap. Fix an issue where the corresponding effects would fail to trigger when sufficiently performing divine thunder strike. Uh, fix an issue where enemies were killed while airborne would not disappear due to the improper collision. Uh, fix an issue where uh, map legends in the mini map of Celestra name on domain fixing issue where Wu Chen being unable to obtain a short uh handle weapon sap and nether step fixing issue where they would occur with the damage multiplier and fan counter strike combos fixing abnormal damage multiplier with the fan counter strike combo fix an abnormal display of the red dot with an enigma domain tab fixing issue where there's no dark toy the coins being given up uh defeating Cor Corvine and the Yama's Abyss and PlayStation related bugs, fix an issue where the infrequency uh, cause crashes when connecting to a server, fix an issue where the infrequency cause the game to lag out when returning to the lobby. And then last but not least, fixed it and the required number of Enigma rings to complete the hero badge, uh, rings of turmoil citrine, and fixed an issue where the tabs under the achievement page and profile would mysteriously disappear. And that folks was the patch notes thank you guys so much for uh watching let me know down below what you're most excited for for season 12 and don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell button and check out the stream if you want to catch all of these live